If you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. If you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. If you've lost faith in humanity, and this is your villain origin story. Shiver me timbers, a villain story, probably better than Joker too. If you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. <coughs> Hot diggity dog, even your pillow needs a therapist. Therapists about to be printing some cash. They're about to be out earning doctors. Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, Donald Trumps and shithole dumps? WestJet 6 with 5, Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're having more reactions and some meltdowns. Oh, and literally 0% of your subscribes. Be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Before we jump right into this video, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. I am Canadian. I got no foot in the game. I'm not trying to influence your politics, and you're allowed to be sad if your candidate lost. But recording yourself for attention being a clown? Cringe. Okay, like, if y'all hate women that much. I hope you never get pussy ever again. If you hate Trump so much, why are you red like one of his states? Like, what the heck? Is that blush or did you play a hot potato with a wasp nest? Like, y'all hate us this fucking much? I don't know where this rhetoric came from that if you voted for Trump, you hate women, because I'm pretty sure more women voted for Trump than men voted for Kamala. So, like, bruh. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter who now has less rights than I have. The dude ain't even in office until January. I'm surprised at the result, but I'm not surprised as a woman of color. You hear that? She wasn't surprised as an individual. She was surprised as, as a, woman a woman of, of color. color. <laughs> what the fuck? A woman of color as opposed to what? A man of shades? <laughs> I, I tell you, there's uh, there's a quote I get a lot of inspiration from. Born to shit, forced to wipe. Yep. I worked hard as hell to elect the first black Asian woman president. How do you have the audacity to call other people racist when you're literally labeling her based on all of her racial things? You're literally describing her strictly because of her race. Like, I don't get it. Black Asian woman president. I feel like you'd have a lot more support if she was also gay. For legal reasons, that's a joke. How can I be homophobic if I'm renting a house? And speaking of renting, I need money. Are you a loser playing Valorant all day and have no friends? Well, no worries, because I got a solution for you. Introducing Poly AI. They got a plethora of AI characters and people you can talk to, ranging from anime to real humans, but personally, my favorite is Donald Trump. Hello, Trump. Are you skibbity Riz? I don't know what that means, but I love being rizzed up. They're not real human beings, just AI friends. I'm just like, yo, what's up? Yeah. Like, AI is the future and even cool businessmen love it. Thoughts on Obama. <laughs> Obama was a bad president, a terrible one, actually. He let the country get into terrible debt. If you're having a tough day getting clowned on, no worries. AI got your back. AI doesn't le you know, laugh at me. Poly AI is a fun, silly, goofy app available on Google Play and the App Store. So what are you waiting for? Download the app now using the link in the description or pinned comment that if you use my code inside the Poly AI app, App, you actually get some premium features for free. Should I download Poly AI? Sure, but be careful. It's a pretty powerful AI. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes over the world. You heard the man. Get it done. This whole country so is mentally wrong. ill. Okay. This whole country is mentally yeah. fucking ill. It's going to be better than ever. Yeah, better because you're ever. a racist piece of shit. Yeah, you okay. can't wait. can't wait. You right. know what? When your social security is gone, no. you ugly piece no. of shit. Just grab your corn dog from the gas station, grab some freaking potato wedges, I don't know, and walk away. Why is it so serious? I don't know if this is some sort of memento level dementia, but it feels like people forgot that Trump was president in 2016 and like nothing really that drastic happened. You know, this is exactly why Trump got elected for crazy people like you. I'm not fucking crazy, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm worried about the women in this fucking country. I know you can't care because you're going to go back and drink your beers and your and truck and not give a shit about anybody but yourself. I don't know if this was her intention, but this lady just described heaven. The dude drinking beer in his truck, not giving a shit about anybody? That sounds awesome. Sign me up. Maybe try low-fat milk. Maybe, Maybe try, try low-fat low fat milk. milk is crazy. <laughs> I feel like you gotta drop the day drinking. What kind of a shirt is that? He cheated! There was fraud! The only cheating I'm seeing is you on your diet. This is what happens when you surround yourself in an echo chamber where all of your friends think exactly the same as you and there's no outside opinions. 
Realistically, try to talk to somebody on the other side. We're far closer than people actually think. In big 2024, as an outsider, watching American politics is hilarious. All it is is one side calling other people communists and the other side getting called fascists. But in reality, that's not the case at all. And like, look what's trending on Twitter. Hashtag Trump cheated and recount 2024. Like, you can't make it up. It really shows how preschool and immature these people are because four years ago, they were mad at the other side for being election deniers, saying that's like the worst thing you could be. And now they're doing the exact same thing. Hope your day gets better. Shut the fuck up! Positive energy. Oh. This one's sort of a throwaway clip because we don't really see what he said before to her. He could have agitated her, but if we're just judging it strictly off of this context, it is kind of funny. Kind of like that inside out scene. Like, what's going on in these people's heads? I genuinely want to know because at the end of the day, all they're doing is just kind of like ridiculing themselves on. All this, but Trump's team was literally cooking on TikTok. 151 million views is insane. I'm sorry to all my friends who are Trump supporters. You don't understand how scared of this man I am. Those aren't even crocodile tears. She's bawling. Is she trying to hide her nose ring or something? Come on. How dare you put this man into office for another four years, knowing damn well what it means for our country, what it means for us as a people. Spit it out. You're describing doomsday, but you can't actually like pinpoint anything. How the fuck are we back in this same situation again? Who the fuck is voting for him? Genuinely. I don't know, 51% of the country, the popular vote maybe? I love how she's like, who even voted for Trump? Like, I bet none of her friends vote for Trump because she's self-selecting her own little echo chamber and then is shocked that 51% of the country disagrees with her. The amount of dissonance these people have is honestly incredible and quite shocking. Can't wait to show this video of me hitting a 3% vape listening to Lady Gaga and crying to my daughter who will have less rights than her grandmother. <laughs> What does vaping have to do with any of this? And why are you so eager to show you vaping? <laughs> like, what the f Yeah, vaping's like so left wing. Right wing us, no hard R, be zinnin. Biden and Trump will meet Wednesday in the Oval Office. Bit unhinged, but good meme, good reference. You gotta be fucking sucking my dick right now. There's absolutely no way that you're- I'm, I'm an election denier. Let's be honest here, guys. In a parallel world, if Trump lost, there would be hundreds of election deniers just on the other side. This isn't a one-party thing issue. And low-key, I'm not denying the possibility that if Trump did lose, some angry middle-aged people would have stormed the Capitol again. Regardless of who you voted for, whether it be Trump or Kamala, I think everybody should be against this kind of like meltdown cringe, because at the end of the day, that's what it is. This kid's in Baltimore, Maryland going 1v50. What an absolute unit. Okay, this kid's a beast, and he's definitely subscribed to WestJet's channel.